In these videos I say that the potential for human mathematics is based on a dynamic geometry that is part of the structure of the universe. This is explained as a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking that forms the potential for ever more abstract mathematics. And it also forms the potential for the ever increasing complexity and diversity of cell life. If this is true, we should be able to take the interconnected nature of mathematics and follow it back to the original spherical geometry of this process. If we take the infinite series 1 plus 1 quarter plus 1 ninth plus 1 sixteenth and so on, where you are adding the inverse of the next square number, it can seem difficult to believe that this series of numbers can be based on a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. But in 1734, Euler found that if you keep adding on more and more terms, this sum approaches pi squared divided by 6. It can seem crazy that pi is squared and connected to this infinite series but if human mathematics is based on the dynamic spherical geometry of the universe, it would be logical to find pi with its connection to circles. We can see with Ford circles that this geometry is a universal part of mathematics. One way to comprehend this as part of a physical process that forms the structure of the universe is if we imagine standing at the zero of a positive number line and putting a candle on all the positive whole numbers one two three four and so on that first candle has some apparent brightness from your point of view some amount of energy that your eyes are receiving from the light per unit time and let's just call that brightness one the apparent brightness of the second candle is one-fourth as much as the first, and the apparent brightness of the third is one-ninth as bright as the first, and then one-sixteenth, and so on. In other words, the light increases by the square of the distance. The brightness of the light decreases by the inverse square of the distance. Therefore, this infinite series of numbers can be traced back to the inverse square law, which is a three-dimensional process that not only the whole of the electromagnetic spectrum is based upon, but also Newton's gravitational force. The inverse square law can be based totally on spherical geometry, and this geometry can actually be seen in these images from the International Space Station of a candle flame in zero gravity naturally forming a sphere. This is a universal process and even in quantum mechanics the probability function or quantum wave particle function radiates out as an inverse sphere and we have to square the amplitude to get the uncertainty. The geometry of this process is reflected in this infinite series with the potential for each denominator to be squared, with the exact sum remaining the same, at pi squared divided by 6. In this theory, we have a process of continuous energy exchange that forms the ever-changing world of our everyday life. This process is formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy relative to the atoms of the periodic table we have to square the radius of the sphere to get the surface area with the inner concave surface representing negative charge and the outer convex surface forming positive charge this forms a two-dimensional boundary condition with the future unfolding photon by photon therefore we have an emergent future in just three dimensions with space and time being emergent properties, with the movement of positive and negative charge, 
and continuous flow of electromagnetic fields. This process forms the nature of charge, with like charges repelling and unlike charges attracting. In linear processes, with degrees of freedom in all three dimensions, as in water, this will form the potential for six-fold symmetry. We can divide the geometry of a circle to form this six-fold symmetry, and this can be seen in the beauty of infinite snowflake diversity. But as a quantized linear process of energy exchange, it can also be seen in the structure and sum of an infinite mathematical series in the form of pi squared divided by 6. Thanks for watching. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.